that they, some Muslims, they are saying that uh, the Prophet ﷺ is, uh, is with us and he attends our gatherings, you know. And <laughs> subhanAllah, they will get together and, uh, and they will be, you know, chanting, you know that. Uh, you know what I mean? And then, all of a sudden, they will get up. Say, what happened? Say, he came. Who? The Prophet. Where is he? He's there. Don't you see him? Some, they put a chair for him to sit. SubhanAllah. So they are saying that the Prophet ﷺ comes and he himself alive? Yes. SubhanAllah. If the Prophet ﷺ comes to your gathering, why didn't he come to stop the bloodshed between the Sahab? Huh? Which is more important? Why didn't he come and stop Ali and Muawiyah from fighting each other? Why didn't he come and save the life of Uthman and tell the people, leave Uthman? Why didn't he come and stop Aisha from going to Iraq? Are you following? So those people actually, they are, subhanAllah, they are misled by the shaitan. And what they see is the shaitan, not the Prophet definitely. Prophet he cannot come out of his grave. And then you can tell them something else. And he told us, do not la tatruni kama atratan nasara ibn Maryam. Do not over praise me. Do not exaggerate in praising me. Like the Christians did with Isa. Innama ana abd. Fakhula abdullahu rasul. Say, he's Allah's servant and Allah's Plus, the Prophet ﷺ told us in the hadith, In Allah khalaq al jan min marij min nar, wa khalaq al malaikata min nur, wa khalaq adam min ma wasafal. Verily, Allah created the jinn from the flame, and the malaika from nur, light, and Adam from what he told you. What is it? The earth. And the Prophet ﷺ is one of the children of Adam. So only the angels Allah created them out of light. So this is the issue of Hadr Nadr. The Prophet ﷺ is everywhere. So this has nothing to do with the teachings of Islam. This is Audhu Billah. Dalal, misguidance. May Allah guide all those who are saying so. Amen. <laughs> A question here about Nasheeds. The Nasheeds today, there's no difference between them and the rest of the songs. What we have, what we see. Music, like music. The only thing that they are, say there are no musical instruments. And sometimes there is a musical, musical instrument. But the impact and the effect when you listen to this machine, it will take you straight to the Jahiliya. True or not? It clicketh, you see. So you saw that in, in these gatherings. The sisters said, Oh! <laughs> so what happened, girls? You're a Muslim, huh? You are, you know, exciting. Shaitan, moving the hijab like in the uh, football fan. This is what is happening. And then you tell me it is halal. What will make it halal? The nasheeds that the scholars said what? when the Prophet ﷺ, they were chanting, beautiful. Tallahi lawlallahi mahtadayna wa la tasaddaqna wa la sallayna. Had it not because of the mercy of Allah, we would not have been guided, we would not have been prayed. Beautiful things. <coughs> not like the nasheeds today. Some of the nasheeds, like if you are in the discotheque, you know this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. This is halal. <coughs> so, that's one thing. The other thing, what also, if you become an addict to all these things, you can't, you will not like reading the Quran. I challenge anyone who is an addict to this. The moment he puts the Quran on, 
too much. So don't listen to that. We don't recommend it. It's not good for you. It's not good for your Iman. It will not bring you closer to Allah. Music, music is haram. If there is music. But even today without the music, the effect is the same like the songs. For instance, there's a nice poem by Imam Shafi. In the Arab world, what they have, one singer came singing it. And the women, they dance. The poem itself, the contents, beautiful. But they are, the way they are using it, the way you chant it, the way you sing it. Understand? So we have to, they should not encourage these things. And we give it Islam, you know, Islamic nashid. So everything now is Islamic. Islamic nashid, Islamic movies, Islamic acting, Islamic Islam. Afi, <coughs> don't please for the sake of Allah. Don't attribute these things to Islam. Because they have nothing to do with Islam. They have nothing to do with Islam. Is this clear to you? Barakallah. Uh, my sister has been divorced uh, three times uh, شرعي, with uh, the interperiods between uh, can she go back to her husband in any way? See these issues the issues of talaq should go to the qadi you should go to the qadi, the judge and he should listen to all the cases and the situations how was the first talaq? was it really valid or not, and the second one, and the third one. If all the talaqs were valid, and the man when he made the talaq, he was, you know, aware of what he said, because if a man says talaq when he was angry, Sheikh bin Baz, rahimahullah, he has one volume of his fatawa on the talaq. He mentioned in that. He said there are three levels of anger. Three levels of anger. The first level, a person becomes mad, black out. You know, some people like that. When he's angry, he doesn't see finish. So he will be talking, but he doesn't know what he's saying. So he said if a person reached that level and he made the talaq, the talaq is invalid. Because he's just like insane, mad. Second level of anger, he said, he can recall, he can remember what he said, but he couldn't stop it. So some people, we've seen people like that, when they are angry, they are shivering. You know this? Have you seen them? Like that. Very angry. And his wife is challenging him. He's telling him, are you a man? I don't want to live with you. Let me go. If he says that, say, no, I'm not a man. I'm not going to divorce you, by the way. So he said, if he reached that level, he's so angry. And he couldn't hold the words. He couldn't stop it. He said, also, that parag is invalid. The third level of anger, he said, it's no man. No husband will divorce his wife while he's, you know, sipping tea with her, you know? Darling, you are part <laughs> Any husband will do that? No. Always, talaq happens when people are angry. True or not? Maybe something silly, and some, most of the talaq for silly reasons. When you ask him, why did you divorce your wife? She, I cannot tell you. Because it is so silly. So it depends. So that's why you have to take your case to the Qadi who will ask you this detailed questions, ask you detailed questions, and ask you for more information. If all